In the realm of country music, few figures stand as tall as Willie Nelson and Chris Christopherson. Their contributions have left a lasting imprint on the genre, with a friendship that has fascinated fans for years. Built on shared admiration and a passion for songwriting, their bond has become legendary. With the recent passing of Chris Christopherson, Willie Nelson has made a revelation that has caught many off guard. What did he reveal, and what does it tell us about their remarkable relationship? Join us as we explore this unexpected story and its impact on Christopherson's enduring legacy. A Bond Forged in Music – The Story of Willie and Chris The friendship between Willie Nelson and Chris Christopherson traces back to the outlaw country era of the late 1960s and 1970s. This was a time when both musicians rejected the polished style of Nashville for a more genuine and unrefined sound in country music. As part of the iconic supergroup The Highwaymen, along with Johnny Cash and Waylon Jennings, they produced some of the genre's most memorable songs. Their work together on tracks like Highwaymen highlighted a deep musical synergy, solidifying their status in music history. Their connection went beyond just professional accomplishments. Both artists prioritized creativity and authenticity over mainstream appeal, and their songs told stories with a heartfelt sincerity. Christofferson, recognized for his introspective and poetic writing, found a kindred spirit in Nelson, whose distinctive voice and adaptability resonated with fans. Despite the ups and downs of their respective careers, their friendship remained unwavering, showcasing the strength of their mutual respect and shared path. Chris Christopherson's Life Before Fame Chris Christopherson was born on June 22, 1936, in Brownsville, Texas, into a military family. His father served as a U.S. Air Force general, imparting a sense of discipline and responsibility. Although he was raised in a strict environment, Christofferson excelled in both academics and sports, eventually earning a Rhodes Scholarship to study literature at Oxford University. Despite his family's hopes for him, Chris chose to pursue a career in songwriting, which strained his relationship with his father. After finishing his studies, Christofferson joined the U.S. Army and became a trained helicopter pilot. However, his passion for music never faded. When offered a prestigious teaching role at West Point, he turned it down, choosing instead to move to Nashville, where he took a janitorial job at Columbia Records to immerse himself in the music scene. This bold choice set the stage for his future accomplishments, allowing him to connect with key figures like Johnny Cash, who later played a pivotal role in launching Christofferson's career. Rising Through the Ranks – Chris's Musical Journey Chris Christofferson's determination helped him navigate Nashville's challenging music scene. His time working as a janitor at Columbia Records, though humble, proved to be an important opportunity. During this period, he wrote classic songs like Me and Bobby McGee and Help Me Make It Through the Night. His efforts paid off when Johnny Cash recorded Sunday Morning Coming Down, marking a turning point that solidified Chris as a top songwriter of his time. Although his journey was not without obstacles, he famously flew a helicopter into Johnny Cash's yard to grab his attention. His music eventually found a foothold. Artists like Janis Joplin recorded his work, with her rendition of Me and Bobby McGee becoming a major posthumous hit. Balancing the transition from military life to music was not easy, but Christofferson's lyrical brilliance soon made him a highly sought-after figure in the country music world. Chris's Health Struggles and the Power of Diagnosis As Chris grew older, he faced significant health issues, including cognitive decline, which doctors initially diagnosed as Alzheimer's disease. For years, he struggled with memory loss and confusion, leading to a difficult period in his life. In 2016, his wife, Lisa Myers, sought another medical opinion, leading to a surprising discovery. Chris had Lyme disease, not Alzheimer's. This diagnosis was a relief and marked a turning point for Christofferson. With the right treatment, his condition began to improve. 
realizing he had been dealing with a treatable illness, brought a sense of renewed clarity. The story of his misdiagnosis and subsequent recovery underscored the importance of persistence and the need to seek thorough answers when facing health challenges. Hey, Golden Throwback fans, ready to take a trip down memory lane? Perfect Fifth has you covered with graphic tees that celebrate the music you love. Check out this cassette era design, a tribute to those mixtape days. Or vibe with melting vinyl sunset, bringing back the golden age of records. And for the Patriots, Stars, Stripes, and Strings, combines music and Americana in a style all your own. Get it for yourself or as the perfect gift for the music lover in your life. And right now, get 30% off your order with code THROWBACK30 at checkout. Click the link in the description to shop now. Perfect fifth, wear the rhythm, relive the moments. Chris Christopherson's Legacy and His Final Days In 2021, Chris Christopherson chose to step away from music and acting, reflecting on a career filled with artistic triumphs. By then, he focused on enjoying a simpler life and looking after his family's well-being. After decades in the public eye, he found contentment in retreating from the spotlight, leaving behind a powerful legacy in country music. His death in September 2024, at the age of 88, prompted an outpouring of reflection from fans and musicians alike. Despite his health struggles, the impact of Chris's music and artistry remained undeniable. His songs continued to touch listeners, and his story of persistence and creativity served as a lasting source of inspiration. Following his passing, Willie Nelson shared a revelation that cast new light on the memory of his old friend. Willie Nelson's Surprising Revelation During a recent interview, Willie Nelson spoke openly about Chris Christopherson, describing him as one of the greatest songwriters ever. Although heartfelt, this statement surprised even those who were aware of their long-standing friendship. Nelson placed Christofferson in the company of legends like Hank Williams and Merle Haggard, recognizing the deep influence Chris's work had on country music. Nelson's praise held particular significance, given his own legendary status in the industry. His comments highlighted Christofferson's gift for expressing deep emotions through his lyrics creating a collection of songs that captured the essence of life. To Nelson, Christofferson's music was not just about commercial success. It was about honesty and the ability to forge a deep connection with listeners. This tribute from a peer and close friend underscored the respect and admiration that Chris earned throughout his life. A friendship that endures beyond death. Willie Nelson's heartfelt words went beyond a tribute to a fellow artist. They served as a reminder of their enduring friendship. Their relationship spanned decades of collaboration, challenges, and mutual appreciation. Nelson's remarks provided a fitting final note to the story of two country music icons whose bond extended beyond the songs they created together. It reminded fans that, though Christofferson is no longer with us, his influence continues, not only through his music, but also through the impact he made on those who knew him. As Willie Nelson's touching words resonate throughout the country music community, they remind us of how one person can profoundly affect another's life. Even after Christofferson's passing, Nelson's admiration for his friend's talent and spirit stands as a tribute to the power of music and the depth of their friendship. 